Hello, and today's Harness Peace Football, and um, as you can tell, um, I've got a bit of a lost voice at the minute because um, I was shouting at Arsenal last week on Thursday because um, we beat um, Valencia 3-1, but I have I also um, was ill, which is why I haven't made a video for a while, but I'm back at you again this time now. So one day I'll be talking about um, the promotion and the relegations that have gone on inside the Football League. And um, as we can see, the um, oldest football league club, Notts County, were relegated at the weekend. And um, they are beaten through by Swindon. And they will now be going into the National League next season for the first time ever in their history. And um, they're going down with the Oval Town, who um, were always a good non-league football team. However, they um, did make the... Um, rise to um football league and they managed to get to the championship and um they went down twice and um they have struggled in the league two in the last few seasons but they've um had a bit of bad form yet again after a run of good form and they're back down there again um fighting and they went down last week um but had they not drawn last week and won then um they wouldn't have to be worrying about things but Sol Campbell has done a great job in Macclesfield to keep them up and um, Lincoln City have gone up and they um, won the league by 15 points. Um, however, in the last two weeks, they've um, drawn 1-0 with Carlisle and they lost 3-0 to Colchester. Um, and next to the City, um, missed the playoffs on Saturday because they drew 0 with Forest Green, which was a must-score um, game, yet alone if they lost the game, because... Um, they were pipped by Colchester, who beat Lincoln, and um, it would have been their third successive season getting to the playoffs, but um, they just couldn't do it this season. But um, you never know, they might be able to be back in the playoffs next season or um, higher up. Um, MK Donson got promoted to um, League One, and um, it looks to be their first season um, back in League One since they... Um, got relegated from League 1 into League 2 and I think that they will um, do fairly well in League 1, not necessarily go and win the league but I'm sure they could be mid-table um, definitely without doubt because um, I'm sure they don't want to have to go through relegation for the um, sec second time in three seasons because that would be disastrous but it was in the before we could see it again, but hopefully we won't, because they were once in the championship and be nice to see if they could get in the championship again. But um, but we've gone back up to League One where they were um, two seasons ago, so they've done the same as MK Dons. And in League One, um, Luton Town won the league, and they've done extremely well in the last few seasons because I think it's the last six seasons or five seasons um, they've gone from top of the National League to um, top of League One and they successfully went up to League One at their first attempt when they were in League, League Two so they um, automatically went up straight away and they've just been um, f um, building their ground and finding it um, in League One and this season they've managed to um, make a um, good run of form count and um, go on 19 games um, without losing and they've um, gone and won the league with um, Sunderland and Portsmouth messing up second place. Barnsley um, took their um, chance and they managed to um, pit um, the South and North team to win um, the um, promotion spot. So Barnsley will be back in the championship again. And um, you've also got to say that um, there was quite a bit of a fight down at the bottom because um, we didn't know who was going to get relegated till the last day of um, League One because um, you had Southend down there, Wimbledon down there and Plymouth and Scunthorpe and Southend managed to beat um, Sunderland after going 1-0 down. They um, pulled themselves out of the trap, um, fortunately, and um, they went on and won the game, meaning that... Um, if Scarthorpe United um, didn't beat Plymouth, then they would go down. But despite Plymouth beating Scarthorpe United 3-2, um, they still couldn't get out of relegation zone, which has been unfortunate. But um, I'm sure they'll be favourites to come back up next into League 1. And um, 
Wimbledon survived, but it meant that Walsall and Bradford also had to go down with um, Plymouth and Scunthorpe. So um, it will be quite tough for those teams to try and get momentum to come back up again. But the playoffs are set to be this week in League One, and we will see um, MK. No, sorry, my bad. Um, what do you spoke about them? We will be seeing um, Charlton Athletic play um, Doncaster at the Valley with um, Sunderland and Portsmouth playing each other. And what a game that one is, because they've already played each other um, three times this season, and they have quite a big rivalry. Um, Portsmouth beat them at home in the league, they beat them in the EFL Trophy final, and they drew up at the stadium light, and maybe um, Sunderland looking to get revenge on Portsmouth, however, I do hope that um, Portsmouth do beat um, Sunderland, because they deserve to go, because they've been um, doing all right this season, but they were top of the league, and you know, they bottled it, but um, there's no sense to say they couldn't get back up there for the playoffs. Um, so let's talk about the championship. Um, we didn't really know who was actually going to go up till um, two weeks ago in the playoffs. No one really um, secured a place because um, Middlesbrough up there at one point, but they dropped out. Derby beat them to it. And um, after Derby beat QPR 2-0, they managed to um, secure themselves in the um, playoffs. And Aston Villa um, beat Millwall 1-0, um, which saw them stay up. But Leeds United somehow got a place after um, they keep um, getting beaten. Um and they seem to be worse for wear and Birmingham beat them three two the other day and they ended up drawing nil nil with Reading but Reading had the main chances to um go on and win the game but they couldn't do so, um, however. You've um got to say that um West Brom could be favourites to go up but Derby beat them three one the other day and they've got to play each other again, so um Derby might have the edge on West Brom, and um. Looks like Sheffield United found themselves back in the Premier League for the first time in 11 seasons since 2008. And um, Billy Sharp, I'm sure, will be sharp next season with goals in the Premier League, hopefully, to um, help them stay up. Um, as well as um, Norwich won the Championship of C, and they'll be back up in the Premier League for the first time in three seasons. And It'd be nice to see if they can make some ground in the Premier League and build a solid foundation because when they seem to come up, they seem to go back down. And is it their build of a yo yo club? And they could carry on being so. So, um, I think maybe it'll be interesting to see how um, Shelford United get on if it proves to be a bit of a tricky contest for them come next season it might be too much for them or they might handle it handle it perfectly being in the Premier League um however um I think we should not um overestimate them or underestimate them because they could be a dark horse and they might come in table but I'm glad they've come up because it's nice to see a different team come up for once instead of um Norwich but they are coming back up or it's not like it's whole city or West Brom and West Brom were a team that used to come up and down, but they managed to um, secure a place in the league for 10 years, and um, Norwich might be able to um, do the same, but I'm sure Norwich are more eager and hungrier than they were last time. So that wraps me up for um, Harness Speaks Football today, so I hope you enjoy that, and I hope you look forward to my next one. Um, go safe, amigos.